I'm sorry for your loss, mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. Can we help this woman? This could be mother. <laughs> it sounds like your son is in trouble. Is there anything I can do? You... Uh, you heard all of that and still you would help? An apostate? Oh, thank you. I am Ariani. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and... dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. I raised Fainriel myself, here in the alienage. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainriel still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons, calling to him, pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. What exactly do you need me to do? Just find him. Please, bring him somewhere safe. I don't know where Fainrail has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainrail's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainrail might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages. But sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. You and Fainriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. Some people just aren't built for family life. At least Fainriel has a mother who cares about him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fainriel wanted to meet him. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. Magic can be a fearful gift. Your son deserves the best aid learning how to manage it. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. <laughs>